Greetings. In this tutorial, we're looking at time signature changes in FL Studio 20 onward. Time signatures set the rhythm or pulse of a piece of music. If you're new to time signatures, I have added an excellent introductory tutorial on time signature theory in the video information. FL Studio defaults to projects in 4-4 time for quarter note beats per bar. Notice the emphasis on the first beat of every bar. It's worth noting that most popular music today is written in 4-4 time. You can change the default project time signature on the options Project General Settings tab. Notice it says Set as Time Signature. This is new from FL Studio 20. If you want the previous system, choose Set as Time Division, where you can use beats per bar and steps per beat. When Set as Time Signature is selected, you have access to the new system. This allows on-the-fly time signature changes, as we'll see in a moment. I'll set the project to 3-4 time. Notice the emphasis now on every third beat. And both the grid and step sequencer have changed to show three beat divisions per bar. OK, I'll just reset this project to 4-4. Four, four. And let's have a look at changing time signatures mid-project. Here we have a 4-4 project. Let's say we add a new pattern and want to work in 3-4 time. So here's three notes. To set the pattern, you can use either the piano roll menu Add Time Signature Change, or Shift-Alt-T on Windows, and shift option T on a Mac. And let's set the pattern to 3 4. Nice, and there we have a 3 4 time marker. Note you can drag time markers around if you want. However, since pattern time signatures are independent of the playlist time signature, we now need to set a time signature change in the playlist. Similar to the piano roll, you can add one from the menu Time Markers Add Time Signature Change. Or if your pattern already has a time signature different to the playlist, you can use the pattern menu option Use Time Signature From Pattern to Playlist. And playlist time signature markers are also movable. Great, so to get back to 4 4, I can simply do that again with a 4 4 pattern. Alternatively, if you want to set a section of the playlist in advance to a new time signature, you can make a selection, then use Time Markers, Time Signature Change or Shift-Alt-T and the time signature will be applied to that range. Note the default project time signature was added to the end of the selected range. And that's it. Just remember, the default project time signature is set on the project general settings, and the pattern and playlist time signatures are set independently. As a bonus, this system allows you to stack patterns of different time signatures if you want. With that, we look forward to hearing more projects with interesting time signature changes. Enjoy. Yeah.